Hi, Stephanie Toman here. The area of this uh, video that's going to look at is the um, collaborative editing. It's part of the syllabus for the advanced ICDL qualification for word processing and it's also something that's really useful within uh, documents. So there's different ways of um, so a look at the areas that we can be looking at and it's looking at uh, comments and tracking and compare and merge. Now this has become something uh, that's used more in the 365, much easier in the 365 but there's still an element of it on desktop versions in the 2016 as in this case. So there's another way of doing it. If you're in 365, as we know, it it's really is a collaborative uh, software as it is. So this is part of the syllabus if you wanted to, to learn it or just get your head around tracking etc thank you collaborative editing to begin with the first one's so simple it's regarding comments so obviously you're not going to have a um, whole test question and giving you marks on comments but it is something that's covered with a number of other things so a comment as you know in the review tab you can right click and do new comments or you can do a new comment that way and then you pop your info in it if I was doing a comment on here, I could right click and I could do a um, new comment that way. And, there. and if I wanted to edit this one, I could right click and delete the comment. Or in this one, delete the comment. I'll just go in and edit. Get some more in and that one I can delete. And you can also delete there as well. If you've got a number of comments, in a document then if you click in one in the exam just to highlight them you can drop that down and you can delete all comments in the document so you don't have to, have to to do them one at a time okay so there's not really much more to comments when the comments in there you can right click and you can mark comment down delete and edit comment okay so really that's about it I'm not going to save that, we're going to come back out again and we're going into tracking number two. So there's an area in uh, Word whereby um, you can track documents. So there's two sides to the tracking changes and accepting and rejecting. So we go into the review tab. If you make changes and track those changes using this feature here, then what you can do is you can uh, somebody can send them, you're the project manager you send off a couple of documents to different people that specialize in different subject areas they make their changes but track them using this feature because if they just change things you would never be able to keep up with what they might have done so by turning the track changes on when you make a change to something if i decide to delete that it shows what's happened and there's different ways of seeing that tracking as well and there's markups using balloons as it's showing at the moment in revision in line you can see it actually happening there um, and you can show only particular things if that's what you want to do people that might be reviewing it and you can show the original when it started and then the markups according to what people have done so you might decide to take that paragraph out and you can see that it's deciding that um, I'm taking take on board what I'm putting. But I may, as project manager, I may not be happy with what that person's done. Okay, so that's tracking it. In the exam, they may ask you to track something, so they may ask you to delete that heading and track it. So the tracking wouldn't be on, it'd be looking like that. You'd make sure you clicked it on straight on top of it, do what they ask you to do, and then they say ensure that no tracking, no further tracking is shown, so you turn it off. OK, if on another part of the question you get asked to um, accept so many different changes and reject something, when you go to this feature, you might say accept and move to next. And it might ask you to reject and move to next. So you're rejecting that, you accept the first one. And what you have to do in the exam is run through the process till you get to the end and then you'll get the question right. So if we close this to that, and let's have a look at the tracking and accepting, just as a process. Okay, so there's some tracking going on here. You can see them. You can also see the bar there. 
So if I go to the review and I accept to move on to the first one and then accept to move to the next, you can see it's moving through. I might reject and move to the next and reject and move to the next. So you make sure that you do what they need you to do in the exam, just like that. And then it, if it says still no further tracking takes place or it's shown, then you turn the tracking off. And if I do something, it's not on. It won't show what I've done. OK, so it's quite straightforward tracking. So one side of the coin is tracking um, making sure that you track all the changes you've made. And then the project manager or the owner of the document can decide what they keep and what they don't keep. It takes us on to another area called compare and merge. So if we open up the review document together. Make sure your files are on the desktop or somewhere easy to get to because we're going to bring in some of those other files in that folder through. So in the review tab again, we have um, this compare and merge. So what will happen is you've made changes to your document and sent, sent it to me and I've accepted those changes. Someone else has made some changes to another one I've accepted. And I've ended up with two documents and I have my original document. So what I want to do now is compare your documents into mine okay or even just one it, it doesn't matter so we go to compare and merge i find my document um which is the review that's it up there if you can't remember or if you're in the exam there's my document i'm going to bring in one of the documents i've accepted so i'm going to navigate it doesn't come up in the drop down unfortunately you have to navigate through it now in the exam you'll be navigating to the z drive i'm navigating to my desktop and you may be navigating to your desktop where you've saved your files so i'm going into the uh, 332 and the lecture materials and we're in the section week four section seven eight and nine and the collaborative editing quite a long way to go see i could have a few documents here that i want to bring in but i'm going to do in r1 to begin with so double click on it there it is that there they may ask you to put something into the label once the document drops in here, it will come up available for you to change. And notice when we navigated the documents, we navigated using that folder. Now, usually when you go into this feature, it looks like this. Luckily, it's come up with more, but in the exam, we guarantee that isn't drop down. Because one of the things they say in the exam is to show changes in the original document. And it tends to be somewhere like that. So you change it to original document to meet that requirement. OK, and then yes. And then you'll see that both have been, you can take that one off. We don't need to see that. You can see there's your for review four. There's review four. There's your revised document. OK, and this is the compare document to the original. All right. So remember, review, compare and merge, go into there, make sure this feature has dropped down. You've got the document that they're talking about in the exam there. You've got the one they want you to bring in and compare and merge. And then they may ask you to label and make sure that it is an original document before you're OK. No more complicated than that. It does look a bit odd. If you want to play with these and have a go um, yourselves, you can bring in different ones and see what they look like.